Hey everyone. So one of the things that I did earlier in my career when I wanted to have a, a testing and development environment is uh, I went out on Craigslist and eBay and just looked for used servers um, that I could buy and just have in my house. And so now I don't really need them anymore and I'm selling them. And I just wanted to record a quick video to show you guys what's inside the server uh, in case anybody has never seen what's inside of one. Um, now to kind of step it back a little bit, uh, I know that we do have the cloud now and things are a lot easier. Um, however, it does add up if you're just using it for your personal projects. Um, I had a project deployed in AWS and I was playing about, you know, four or five hundred dollars a month for a really kind of beefy box that I needed. Um, and in comparison, uh, I was able to buy this server, which is a Dell R710. Um, and it has uh, close to about one terabyte of storage on these SATA drives that then you can do uh, something like RAID 5 with. Um, and then it also has 144 gigs of RAM, right? And you can buy a server like this for anywhere between 400 and maybe $600 um, used. And so right off the bat, you know, you can save yourself a whole bunch of money if you're just, uh, you know, playing around with certain things. Uh, and you want to have maybe a database that you want to load a lot of data into or if you're doing some machine learning or You know data science workflows So for me, you know, I needed to do some number crunching with Apache Spark and so I had two of these servers uh, And I basically was able to load the whole data into memory uh, and just number crunch it like that. So anyways So let's get through this. So this is the front of the server um, These are usually like the base where you can put the hard drives in um, and so this one has a drive in there. Um, and again, you can take these drives in and out without actually having to restart the server. Um, a lot of these are empties um, for like spares and all it really comes down to how you want to configure your, um, your RAID array. So, um, here in the front we have a power button, we have a USB ports, we have a VGA uh, we have a little display here and we have a DVD drive. Now going on the inside, so this is where, um, this is the DVD drive. Here are uh, the fans for the airflow. Um, so you can actually take them out and again, uh, if you need, if one of them went bad, you can go ahead and replace just one of them. Um, you can also take this whole thing out. Um, here we have memory banks and the processors. So here are the memory arrays uh, and here are the two um, processors. Each one of these processors has about six cores. So in this box total I had you know 12 uh, usable cores and uh, like I said 144 gigs of RAM. Um, here we have the, the RAID adapter and you can see that you know we have the storage cables through here to all the drives, all the SAS drives. Um, and you know, we have some additional uh, slots available here for expansion. Uh, this is the power supply. And the power supply actually has two different power supplies. Let me swing around. So typically you can have uh, both of them uh, on. Uh, and if one of them goes bad, you can pull it out and again replace it without actually taking the server down, which is kind of cool. So you can pop it out, uh, replace it with a working one, snap it back in, uh, and then power it up. Uh, here we have four network interface cards hanging on the back, then some additional USB and VGA ports. Um, one kind of thing that's kind of interesting when I started looking into the server is that um, just how the airflow is set up, right? And how much they thought about this when they were building the server. So. For example, the airflow goes in from the front of the server to the back to cool down um, all the components in the processors. And you can see that, you know, even like the RAM um, and these heat sinks are arranged in a way that the air should pass through them this way much easier, right? So they're not going like this. So yeah, I'm gonna sell this guy. Um, don't really need any more. Got another one in case I do need a, a server for some local number crunching. And if you do need a, a good lab environment, I suggest you guys uh, 
check out eBay or Craigslist. See if you can find a used box that you can just have in your house. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. And um, like and subscribe. Thanks.